Hey everyone, um, I wanted to take a look at the Apple chart. I think people are wondering when to get back into Apple. Um, <clears throat> based on the, the, the charts, uh, I've been seeing, you know, I've been targeting 119 as a possible pullback area. Um, it looks like we're almost there. We got as low as 121.63 and we're already getting a bounce. And you know, it looked like it was going to go negative today, but reversed intraday early in the morning. So, you know, it's possible that we go ahead and retest the 110, uh, the 10-day moving average, which right now is sitting at 124.99. Um, I I don't think it's going to close above 125 by the end of Friday. I think the scenario that's going to happen is we might rally to the 10-day. We might even actually close above it, uh, but uh, come FOMC time, uh, we might get a pullback uh, back to the 119 line. Um, if you look at the volume today, it's it's low. I think generally the market is pretty much waiting for Wednesday. Um, if you took a look at the hourly chart here, if you take a look at the hourly chart here, you see the 50-hour line, which is you know when you when you change the time frame becomes a 50-hourly line. Uh, we've had multiple attempts to breach that line. We got one time here. We got one time here. Both rejected, and we are, you know, we closed above the downtrend line, uh, but we are right at the 50-hour line. So it's possible tomorrow we go up, and we might get a rejection tomorrow. Uh, based on the option positioning, uh, I, I really think that we don't close positive this week. I think we go negative. Um, I think we. The high possibility that we hit 119, um, but here's the far-fetched play um, that I'm looking at, which is the. Uh, let me see if I can get my drawing tool here. Okay, so we have here a gap at, in the 115 area, and I think, I think that this uh, this hole might get uh, filled this week, especially if the FOMC meeting um, produces a sell-off. I think we can really hit this area here in the 115. So I think it's a little bit early to get back into Apple um, unless we break this line, you know, make a high, pull back, and then head head back up, which would uh, which would con do a, make a confirmed uptrend for me. But I think this nice one-day rally isn't much. It hasn't even uh, breached the high of this day, which was 125.40. So today's high was 124.95. So I mean, at the very least, if it's going to go up, it's got to breach this high. But we have an inside day, so not a really strong indication on low volume. Not a really strong indication that this trend is continuing. Although you know these three bars look very positive, but. Uh, that's my thoughts for this week. I know this 115 sounds like a crazy idea, but uh, crazier things have been known to happen. So let's let's see how things play out by, uh, as the week goes along.